You're all patriotic. Hi guys. Damn it. Nothing in me. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome. Damn it. <laughs> Welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani. And I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani. Well, first of all, happy 4th of July. It, it's the 5th of July for you now, but happy 4th of July. I hope you had a really wonderful day with your loved ones and that you could celebrate freedoms that we have. I, for one, am very grateful that I live in a country where I'm free enough to love who I want to love and marry who I want to marry. Um, there's so many countries out there that do like arranged marriages and, you know, have all these rules and it, I don't know. I just feel that's, that's the thing that I'm the most thankful for when it comes to freedom is who we love and how we love them and things like that. Um, are you thankful for anything? I am thankful for and the people that fight for us, like, Yeah, absolutely. Geez. Soldiers all the way, number one. Like, selfless is not even a big enough word for it. Like, no. like it's, it's beyond. It's beyond all that. Yeah. So, good job, guys. Yes. Keep it up. And thank you if one big of you is watching. You. A big thank you. Um, and also, on the other side of that coin, thank you to all the families who sacrificed their, their loved ones to go mm -hmm. serve. I mean. I can't even imagine. You know? How can you? I mean. Yeah. Every, yeah. It's very... Yeah, so we hope you had a good day celebrating. And, um, okay, so I'm doing so well today. Ugh, right, did Daddy? you tell about their your yeah. ER trip? So I went to the ER a couple days ago. By the anniversary. Way, yeah, on our anniversary. By the way, um, I'm not going to do an Ask Shani today if you haven't already figured that out. <laughs> I'll have to do it for tomorrow because I am so sick. So on our anniversary, we had to go to the emergency room because... Um, I was having severe tooth pain and jaw pain and it was like shooting down my jaw and then it was shooting up to my temples um, and basically those of you who watch know that I'm missing three down here. I'm missing three back there, two and a half actually. The other half is slowly chipping off um, and so for a while, the longest time I've been only chewing on this side. but. Um, there is now an abscess. You can kind of see the bump, not really. Um, on both the bottom and the top molars, like both molars on both of the top and the bottom. And my concern is my mom had osteomyelitis, which is where, if I understand it right, when you get a bad enough tooth infection, sometimes it can travel down to other places like your heart. And so, I felt really worried because the pain was shooting down my left <laughs> chin and so I called the on-call dentist and he couldn't do anything for me so he said to go to the emergency room so we went to the emergency room got got an IV of uh, okay, so I'm sorry. of uh, like um, fluids flu antibiotics, and, then, and, then antibiotics. Yeah, and pain meds of course um, so that's why I'm a little loopy um, Anyway, they just diagnosed it as an abscess with facial cellulitis or something like that. And let's put that in Shani terms, what that means. What that means, you guys. I need a seat. I'm almost done. Oh, sorry. Just kneel up, I'm almost done. So basically what all of that means is that it is time for me to do everything I can to get my teeth out. And it's time for me to be humble and ask you guys for help. And um, I just have been putting it off for so long because I just felt so bad asking for help. And I don't want people to spend their hard earned money on me like that. That makes me feel bad. So, um, but it's getting to the point where... It is um, getting in the way of my recovery. I don't know, it's just frustrating and I'm in so much pain. The gums underneath the molars are black and I know what that means. I know that I have to get them out soon or it's gonna get bad. And I'm like worried about my jaw, like who knows what could happen. So 
Um, yeah, I took a little bit of footage in the hospital. Not a lot. You weren't there. You left while you were gone. Um, I think it's like a minute or two long. You're welcome. I'll link it in right now and you can see it, but. Well, I'm in the hospital. Um, I was having severe, sorry, I'm like really, really drugged up right now. I was having severe uh, teeth pain on the bottom and the top, like so bad that I thought I was going to die. So we came, I called the uncle Dennis and he told me to come into the ER. They gave me a bunch of pain meds and they're giving me like a direct antibiotic um, to kill the infection quicker. And the only reason I'm even recording right now is to tell you this is pure hell. If you have an eating disorder, even if you think your teeth are fine, I thought my teeth were fine for the longest time. And then this happened and it destroys you. You can't think because you're in so much pain all the time in your teeth and so close to your head and your brain that you just can't even function. Like it's so not worth it. And if this will help you stop to see how much pain I'm in and hopefully it'll help me also to try even harder to stop because nights like tonight are just Please stop. Please don't let yourself get as deep as I have. It's just not. It's horrible. Alright, well, I'm about to fall asleep, so sorry I'm really drugged up right now, but I love you guys. Bye. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you, I guess, mm -hmm. so much to all of you who have graciously offered to not only donate but to actually start the GoFundMe yourselves. Like I've gotten quite a few people saying, if you're not going to start it, then we're going to start it for you type of a thing. And now I'm at the point where I would let you, but I, I should probably do it. So yeah, but thank, I just want to thank you guys for being so willing to help me because um, this is just killing me. It is killing me. I've never been in this much pain before. So anyway, I'm gonna pass out because these drugs make me loopy. And I feel like throwing up. Are we done? Or? Yeah, I think oh, so. Okay. <coughs> Hopefully tomorrow I will have a nice long Q&A for you guys and that's all, so. Okay. I love you guys. You're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. Thanks for watching.